Peace everyone, this is Mahogany Homeschooler and this is my quick intro to the homeschool vlog how the baby sleeps. So I'm going to try to hurry up and make this fast. Um, I have been homeschooling for 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. My oldest, who is now 12, we started homeschooling her when she was about 2, 2 and a half, structurally. So I would say since 2003. 2003 so it's been about 10 years um, I have six children ages 1 4 6 9 no 8 soon to be 9 10 and 12 I have four girls and two boys and this coming cycle I don't like to use the term year because we homeschool year round and we just have cycles where we break in between so this coming cycle I'll be homeschooling um, five out of six of my children from my four-year-old to my 12-year-old and I have some stuff in there for my one-year-old but that's more uh, natural play um, in terms of our homeschool philosophy we are a very eclectic bunch I don't lean towards any one philosophy or method over another I utilize whatever works for us at that time um, we use a little bit of everything. We do a lot of notebooking, lab booking. We, we do a lot of interactive project-based learning. I will say that. A lot of project-based hands-on, especially with science. We are a science household. Uh, my children love science. So a lot of our instruction is um, based around science. Even our uh, writing assignments, even art. We integrate art and science. So we are a big science family. Second to that is geography. We love to trek the globe. So we do a lot of um, world studies and um, we integrate that with the science and everything's pretty much interrelated. So one would say we are a unit study uh, household but in actuality we still use so many different resources and so many different methods that I don't want to say that we exclusively uh, do unit studies because we don't. My day, I usually split it in half with the first part of the day. They'll work on their core assignments that they need to finish individually. And that's usually like math and um, grammar, uh, spelling, vocabulary, stuff like that they do individually. And in the afternoon, we break into um, uh, collective unit study based learning where everyone is learning, working on the same thing, just in our own individual level. Um, we do a lot of notebooking, that's how I get the writing composition in. Uh, with my older daughter, she's doing more essay writing and um, more um, analyzing and discussion. So uh, she'll be seventh grade this year. So her work is a little more rigorous than the others, but we're very eclectic. I'm an out of the box. I'm so out of the box you just it's just really hard to label me or label our style of learning whatever's needed is what we're working with wherever we need to go that's where we need to go um let me see um philosophy method yes I have cards wrote down looking forward to this year Ooh, about to wake up. um what am I looking forward to this year? Just another successful year. Um, my daughter, she wants to get more into creative writing, so we're going to be focusing more on writing um, content, going into different writing styles, different um, literature. Um, with my son, he is leaning more towards uh, engineering, and my eight to soon to be nine year old daughter is into engineering so I'm going to be looking into finding them classes there is actually um, some classes in the area however they have to be in the sixth grade to start but I'm going to see if I can pull some strings and see if I can get them in there and just get them in so they can get a look and see if, this, if that's something they really want to do but um, I'm looking for a curriculum for them that is reflective of engineering. I'm going to get them some kids. So that's what we're going to be focusing on with that. With my four-year-old, we're going to be working a lot on language and speech, more so speech. Um, he has a bit of a speech delay. And my goal for him 
is for him to be able to speak and we understand him clearly like intellectually he is just sharp as a tack however his speech is very is delayed in his pronunciation and so I'll do a whole nother video on that I actually plan on purchasing a curriculum for him and I'll do a video on the curriculum when I get it but my main goal for him is his language and speech I'm not even so much as focused on um, reading and all that just I want him to be able to pronounce the words correctly and for him to be able to articulate what he's saying and everyone understand him so um, I'll probably do a mini series of the different things that we've done with him and he, you know different testing and stuff like that but um, that's my goal for him he loves hands-on he's very keen aesthetic so I am leaning more towards Montessori with him. He loves the the, the hands-on, the practical life, uh, help me around the house, so I incorporate that in his learning. We do a lot of talking, a lot of reading. So with him, it's going to still be more Montessori, hands-on based, um, with a lot of reading, a lot of one-on-one -on -one discussion, a lot of uh, practice in pronunciation and, and syllables and, and different things like that with him. Um, with my six-year-old, she's reading, she's doing quite well. She's actually going to be in like a first, second grade level. Her reading is actually second, third grade level, but her curriculum is first and second grade. So, um, she's doing quite well. Everyone's doing well. And um, basically, I just want us to have another successful year. So, this was my intro. And um, hopefully I'll get some time to post when the other videos come in. Peace.